Hello guys, it's me again, Take That Screw Out. If you haven't subscribed on this channel, please consider subscribing and click that thumbs up icon and notification bell. So if there's a new video coming out, you'll be the first one to be notified. Check the description down below for the equipment and tools I use in this video, which is available to purchase if you want to in Amazon.com in United States and Amazon.co.uk in United Kingdom. On this video, it shows step by step on how to repaste, how to change the thermal pads and thickness of the thermal pads, how to replace and clean the cooling fan. Okay, let's begin the tutorial. The start option, it depends on what you want to do. If you want to replace the cooling fan, all you're gonna do is to unscrew six screw. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the second option, if you want to replace the thermal paste and replace the thermal pads, all you're gonna unscrew is eight screw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, what we're going to do is first is to remove the fan. The screwdriver I'm going to use is the electric screwdriver, a wild stick, and the screw bits is a Phillips screw PH1. Okay, that's the six screw. So lift out the front shroud. It should come off. Okay. So to remove the fan, each fan has four screw. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is the part number of the fan. And this is the second option if you change the thermal paste and the thermal pads just remove eight screw one two three four five six seven eight Detach the back plate. So the thickness of the thermal pads. So this, this thermal pads here is two millimeter. And this one, this one here, this, this, for the VRAM are the same thickness, is a bit thinner. So this one here is 1.5 millimeter. So this area here, and there's there's 
there's a thermal pad as well underneath this bracket is two millimeter this two and this one underneath here is two millimeter and this area and this is 1.5 millimeter maybe you just wonder why the card is so clean because the card is brand new is so I don't need to clean it or maybe I'll just brush it a little bit to clean the heat sink and the PCB I normally use this one an X power air blower 500 watt air blower and a brush And to clean the residue, always use 99.9% isopropyl alcohol. Never use a 70% isopropyl alcohol. Always 99.9%. The reason is it could dissipate quickly and it's more safer to use for your prevent short circuit. So on this card I don't need to change the thermal pads because it's still new so only the thermal paste okay the thermal paste I'm going to use is an Arctic MX4 but I highly recommend the Noctua into H2 or the SYY thermal paste okay it's time to put it back together To put it back together in this front area, make sure you have to screw in first the three fan before front shroud. Otherwise you can't access the full screw in the fan. So you have to do the fan first. You have to make sure the fan sits properly. So by the way, this screwdriver is exactly the same with the VH1 screw bits in an electric screwdriver. So I'm just using it also more easier to access the fan.
so you have to check the rotation make sure it doesn't catch this screw looks good and then finally the front shroud Okay, that's the end of the tutorial. If you enjoy watching this video, please consider subscribing to support my channel and share the video and hit the thumbs up icon. Thank you for watching.